Hi guys, okay, today I am going to tell you a little story time of my crush which happened literally 10 years ago so let's jump right into the story time Back when I was 16 and crushing on a guy was like the most magical feeling in the world and so my friend and I decided that we wanted to write secret notes to our crushes and then we either put them in their locker or in their bag so how we executed this plan was that every single lunch or break time we would go into their class and slip the notes in we were prefects so it was easy for us to you know go around and do this when everybody's on a break if you don't know what a prefect is I'm pretty sure everybody knows what a prefect is, right? A prefect is just somebody who has duties and responsibilities and I have no idea what duty I had at the time um, but it was just really easy for us to slip them in. So anyways, at 16, we were going to get ready for our big examinations which will happen in a year's time and our crushes were a year older. So they were going to sit for these big exams which are called SPM. All the Malaysian students know this. So. On these notes, we would write stuff like good luck for your trials and stuff like that. So it was super exciting, you know, like they never found out who we were and it's just so difficult. Like how would they know it was us through handwriting, right? I remember that my crush was pretty popular back then. He was in a really popular group of friends. We were never really friends in the first place. We were more like acquaintances maybe. Yeah, we just never spoken to each other in person. It just felt very like far away you know it felt it felt kind of unreachable in a sense they moved on with their lives after they left school and we moved on with our lives when you know nothing really happened because we wouldn't be going out there and profess our love or anything like that you know it's just a nice and sweet moment a few months ago i was scrolling on instagram just you know the usual and suddenly I saw my handwriting on a person's story and then I realized that it was my writing to my crush nine years ago yeah we were following each other on social media like Instagram and we were friends on Facebook but we still never spoken to each other much over the years like nothing much at all when I saw that he kept those letters that we hid I was like it's either I confess or I just leave it and never ever tell this person that's me so when I saw it I texted my friend and I was like oh my gosh remember when we used to write all those crush letters like 10 years ago in school he posted it on his Instagram and he was like oh my god another letter from anonymous 4 so that's how much I do not check up on him and I guess he did post my other notes that I wrote it wasn't a lot, I think maybe three or four max. I decided that I wanted to say it was me because like, why not? It's been literally 10 years ago and I might as well just say it and get it off my chest because it feels so much better that way anyway. We had a little conversation and he was saying how, oh, you shouldn't have wrote your name as anonymous. You should have just signed off as your own name. And I was like, uh, I could never. Just imagine the rejection I would face if I said it was me and like I just didn't want to go through with the anxiety of knowing that I could be rejected and Jimmy, I was strong. I was in love with you, okay? And you didn't love me back. Now I'm ready to move on and it's like you're gonna build me up all over again. Well I'm done. And I feel like that's such a bad mentality because we should just do it and we should just go for anything because if you don't try you will never know it seems very exciting i was really excited at the time i was like wow i cannot believe this is only happening at in 10 years so i mentioned that it was kind of like a to all the boys kind of story going on here okay um so here's the thing mm. i don't actually like you why the fuck you lying why you always lying mm, oh my god Stop fucking lying. And the funniest part was that he didn't even know what I was referencing it to. So I bet he didn't watch the movie. So we were talking and suddenly he was like, you know, if you signed off as your name. And the funny part was um, around the same time, I had a major crush on you too. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? And it felt like I was 
mind blown at the time and it felt really exciting it felt like i was 16 again and getting my answer from my crush you know what i mean and then he was saying how um, i tried not to make it obvious i was like high key or low key like always staring at you i don't know it made me really emotional because i had zero confidence or self-esteem when i was in high school and i felt like i was not good enough at some points and to think that my one of my biggest crushes in school felt that way about me was just so weird and just so touching at the same time that i realized you should just go for it you know what i'm saying like if you have something if you have something that you really want to do or if you have someone that you really want to profess your feelings to you should just do it because you might never know what happens in life you could either get rejected or you could be in the best love story of your life and that's what i learned from this whole thing and to know how beautiful things can be it's such a beautiful moment for me because i realized that things in life can be so simple but beautiful um, i'm so glad that i kept my friendship with my uh, friend whom we both wrote these letters together with i don't even know why i am emotional talking about this story time but when i look back on myself and when i saw you know how low self-esteem i had in back in that time i wish that she knew that her crush liked her back too you know like it doesn't really matter because i should know my own worth but when you're 16 and when you're feeling down and kind of alone and like i literally look like ugly betty from you know who ugly betty is right so yeah that is my story time and the biggest takeaway that i have for you guys is just shoot your shot because you will never know what might come out of it something beautiful and even if you face rejection it doesn't mean that it's gonna be the end of the world because somebody else is gonna be perfect for you and you should be perfect for you so yeah i hope you guys like this story time and i hope that inspires you to go out there and try your best at anything you want to do because failure doesn't make you any less of a person it's just gonna make you stronger and it's gonna get you where you want to be in life so good luck and see you next time